There is no break in sight for exhausted crews battling Australia's raging bushfires. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction, and all you can talk about is money. And globally, there are now almost 2 million confirmed cases of coronavirus. We are in an unprecedented crisis. Publicly funded schools in this province will not be open. The future is now to create zero waste design. Fanshawe College's fashion design program mission is to teach cutting edge design for a sustainable future. We are the creators and inventors of past challenges and future success stories. We are rooted and threaded by the earth above and below. Like thread that gets pulled from the clothes we wear, tossed away without repair. Plastic bottles and charred pieces of glass, wadded up newspapers, tossed on the grass. Melting plastics and tearing out trees, we ask, will this be the environment that surrounds me? Sustainability is a movement to prioritize our environmentally friendly practices. In order to make lower impacts on the world, I made sure I used different methods to make this line sustainable. My collection is called Immersed, which means to submerge in water. It was inspired by environmental issues of the ocean and the deep sea gardens. One of the biggest issues we are facing today is waste coming from plastics. Because of that, I decided to use recycled polyester fabric and thread. Both are biodegradable and can be recycled again. In order to have the garment of one fabrication or mono material, I used 100% silk thread, which is very easy to biodegrade and reuse. Since the collection is based on sustainability, some of my garments are zero waste and others are made from recycled fabric. Finishing this line was quite challenging because fashion designers mostly depend on design studios and also because we don't have as many things as we need so that we can finish our garments at home. However, I am very, very thankful to our professors. They have helped us through this time and they've also worked really, really hard so that we finish our final year with as much knowledge as any other year has.
I'm Madeline Tarico, and I'm ready to unlock 360. Growing up and thinking back to when I was about eight or nine, me and my siblings used to go around and gather old clothes and really putting on a huge fashion show for my family and my parents to watch. Growing up in such a large family with 11 other siblings, it really kind of created that base for me to have my own collaborations. The use of collaboration really opens up the opportunities and experiences as well as the learning curves and it really gives me an edge as a designer. 360 really combines a very feminine yet masculine and contemporary details. A lot of research and my global interaction went into finding biotech fabric, biodegradable fabrics, with also naturally dyeing them, as well as being open with my supply chain. You have to take responsibility and have courage to change, as every one of us has a responsibility for this business, which will be our total way of living. Working away from everything that I've had since first year, um, you know, the very first day, all the machines, the studios, you know, the the profs, you know, their direction has just definitely been hard and, you know, different experience. Being able to be so involved and dedicated towards finishing a collection really shows the perseverance and the, the problem solving skills that each of us have. My collection, entitled Consume, was inspired by natural disasters, in particular wildfires, and how they consume all in its path. The collection was designed to have a number of staple garments that have a classic silhouette, which have the ability to be quickly altered to change the look of the garment when desired, and statement pieces designed to reflect the unruly nature of fire. Consume also addresses the notion of overconsumption in the fashion industry and how these choices have affected the environment. Knowing the impact that the fashion industry has on the environment, all fabrics sourced for this collection were dead stock, and all scraps, pieces of fabric, and threads were incorporated back into the collection, creating a zero waste collection. So finishing the collection remotely has been difficult. Um, just setting up a functional studio space. So for me, I had to get power into the space, so I would have power to uh, run the sewing machine, but also to have lights in the evening. Um, and motivation. Motivation has been a um, large obstacle. Just uh, due to the fact that I'm home now, my mindset is I'm home, school's done, it's not. But having instructors that are very passionate about having our collection out um, has helped tremendously. Finishing the line while working remotely has been a little bit of a challenge because I still have some of the stuff I need in the school and it's all locked up because of COVID. You know, but I did bring most things home with me. Evanescent Pastoral is focused on providing an intimate experience for the wearer. Based on traditional European folklore and fairy tales, all pieces in the line were designed with the wearer's childhood memories in mind. This provides a bond between the garment and the wearer, which is reminiscent of vintage hand-me-downs and clothes she's had forever. My vision for sustainability is that garments are created for long-term use. Quality-made clothing designed to outlast trends can be cherished by the wearer for a lifetime. The only thing I'd say that's been a challenge really has been the fact that you don't have a real schedule and it's up to you to determine like, 
okay, I need to do this at this time and you know, everything else has to be put out of the way. The world's awareness of the impact that the fashion industry has on the environment is increasing, but it is not where it needs to be. I value the environment, family, friends, equality, individuality, and quality. I was inspired by my Sami heritage and my grandfather's portfolio from his university days. My vision is a time when we no longer strive for sustainability because the people accept the need. I am committed to designing with purpose. I will strive to inform the consumer about products. Finishing my line while working remotely has been difficult to be, while being isolated from my friends, teachers, and my studio space. This is my home studio space. Um, it was once my older sister's bedroom. She's now moved out. Um, it's also where my mom teaches. Though Unbound hasn't turned out the way we planned, we are making the best of with what we have during this pandemic. I've always had a love and passion for deconstructing denim and creating new garments or even just editing them to customize or repair them and make them unique. When I was in the design process, I already knew that I wanted to work with this specific textile. My collection was created using remanufactured existing materials. I made sure to source only 100% cotton denim because at the end of the life cycle of the garment, it is much easier to recycle a monofiber into a new textile. Designing for zero waste is exactly what it sounds like. Designing with the intention of creating zero waste. So not just what materials you source, but also where you source them from, to pattern making and cutting. As a designer, I feel it is very important to hold myself accountable for how much pollution and waste I create throughout the whole design process. I wanted to minimize my consumption of resources because at the end of the day, we do not have an endless supply of resources. Fashion is the second most polluting industry impacting our planet and I don't want to add to the list of problems we as an industry have already created. I want to be a part of the solution that helps repair our Earth. Instead of buying brand new denim, why not thrift it and upcycle them? or by dead stock fabric. Zero waste designing is the only option we have if we want to sustain our living. What I've learned through this entire process is that learning to adapt to your current situation and learning to adapt quickly is so important in life right now. The inspiration for my collection comes from my Ganyan heritage and the trip my family took there, where everywhere you looked, there were luscious green plants. 
I base my garments off of contemporary and street styles with a strong tropical print and transformable elements. This really bold and graphic surface design made to look like leaves. It's made from bias tape. It is my absolute favorite part of my collection. To make my collection sustainable, I used all organic and natural fabrics, and I used my scraps to create accessories such as bags and jewelry. The best part of the creative process to me is the concepting and designing aspect and getting to play with different styles and silhouettes. And it's also so important to have a backup plan for everything and just learn how to properly plan things through, even if it's not exactly what you expected. So this is my home studio, my working space. I have sewing machine here, my fabrics are here. I have flowers to make myself happy every time I work. I have sanitizer, uh, I have little bar here, so I have coffee, water and something sweet. <laughs> To be honest, when it all started, I lost all my motivation to do any work, but after a few days I decided that I want my garments to be done. I just will be really proud of myself that in these hard times I continued working and didn't give up. Sustainability is not just a trend, it is supposed to become a lifestyle. Everyone on the planet should start to think about their conscious consumption. In my collection, I tried to use several options that can reduce the amount of waste in the fashion industry, such as zero-waste pattern, dead stock fabrics and trims, and natural biodegradable textiles. Also, garments in my collection might be used in a lot of outfits that reduce the need of buying new clothes. Creating the collection, I was inspired by my Russian roots. I wanted to show Russian style in the modern world, and I hope that it works out. I also hope that we, as a new generation of designers, will be able to change the situation with waste and consumption and save our planet for future generations. Nowadays, the fashion industry is pushing for sustainability, for the betterment of our planet. My collection is named Street Creed. It follows streetwear fashion and has a few reversible garments. Additionally, the designs I created consist of coordinated separates. It targets ages from 20 to 27 that like to stand out. The colors I chose are vibrant and mimic nature's sunset. The fabric purchased is dead stock, providing a longer lifetime for the fabric that was left over by previous designers. Some of the trims, like Japanese glass beads, are biodegradable over time. Scraps from the collection are used to make washing bags that allow for more delicate washes to protect the garments, allowing them to last longer. Hey guys, this is Tia. I wanted to show you my little home studio. I have my threads here, the beads, a little spoiler alert right here. Ooh, we're not gonna show too much. Working from home is very stress-free. We're all just trying to cope with what's happening and deal with everything and make the best out of it because we want the show to keep going on. And that's what we're here for.
source of material in my collection is unwanted clothing sourced from thrift stores. This clothing is stuff that people didn't want anymore and I thought I could do something with it. All materials I'm using are natural materials, cotton and rayon. The second source of material that I'm using is from an organic cotton supplier. This material is 100% organic cotton. I dyed this fabric using turmeric and a DIY style in my own kitchen. Drawstrings and paper bag waists allow for transformable garments that can be worn on many sizes. This allows for garments to develop with you. The boxy look of the garments is inspired by comfort and modesty. I enjoyed exploring new ways to create clothing and thinking of ways to make clothing lasting and reusable. A few things I'll be taking away from this experience is the importance of organization. Organization helps you keep a clear workspace and also a clear headspace. Without a clear workspace, things become cluttered and so does your mind. Deconstructing clothing was difficult, but it allowed for a more creative construction process and pulled more style lines into the pieces. Fashion is creative, fashion is innovative, fashion is sustainable. Eroded Shadows is a collection based on the idea of death and decay, and the fact that everyone and everything belongs to the earth. We all came from it, and we will all eventually return to it. In my collection, I've used all natural fibers, along with ones that can be endlessly recycled to ensure the process of decay is as safe for the earth as possible. The future that I see is one where no one is afraid to push the limits, and everyone understands that sustainability is not a hindrance, but a doorway to innovation. What I'm taking away from this design process is that I've learned what's important to me as a designer in my own aesthetic and design process, and also in business practice. Melting plastics and tearing out trees, we ask. Will this be the environment that surrounds me? We are rooted and threaded by the earth above and below. We are the creators and inventors of past challenges and future success stories. Plastic bottles and charred pieces of glass Wadded up newspapers tossed on the grass. Melting plastics and tearing out trees. We ask, will this be the environment that surrounds me? Will this be the environment that surrounds me?
A heartfelt thanks to our sponsors for supporting us through this journey. Without you, this would not have been possible. Central Sustainability, our title sponsor, we thank you for your vision of embracing social and environmental responsibility and encouraging a zero waste lifestyle. 1031 Fresh FM, as a long-standing partner, thank you for helping to bring the live watch party to life and keeping everyone connected, even if it was from a distance. Reimagine Co., thank you for your passion and products to help us lead sustainable lives. Thank you to Fanshawe College Employment and Student Entrepreneurial <laughs> Services for supporting students as they launch their career. To Goodwill Industries and the Glenn Davis Group, as community leaders, thank you. To those who were with us from the beginning and offer their continued encouragement and support. Capital Color, Jim Anderson Flowers, a and Party Rentals, and Shoes, Boots, and Bags. The format for this year's Unbound show changed, but our gratitude is stronger than ever. Thank you. We look forward to working with you next year. Additionally, this journey wouldn't have been possible without the help and guidance of our amazing teachers. Over the past few years, we have learned so much from you, and we are thankful for this opportunity. A big thank you to Loren, Nydia, Lori, Leanne, Tara, Meredith, Jennifer, and all our remaining professors. Thank, thank you. you. One, two, three. Are we doing it again? <laughs> 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 <laughs>